I am Govind Sarup, was born in 1929. I joined Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in 1963 after seven years in USA. I am a radio astronomer. I constructed two of the world's largest radio telescopes. Knowing my interest in science, my father sent me to Allahabad to study physics, chemistry, mathematics in the Ewing Christian College and then in the reputed Allahabad University. In the, in the university at that time were very many very distinguished professors. K.S. Krishnan, co-author of the paper which brought C. V. Raman Nobel Prize, taught me in B.Sc. first year electricity and magnetism. There were many other distinguished teachers. Sibiraman visited the university. Uh, I and a few students invited him for a true North Indian meal <laughs> uh, in our hostel that he accepted. He talked for a couple of hours, remarked with all kinds of stories. In the 50s, I decided to compete. I wrote to Harvard, Caltech, and Stanford. Got admission all three places. My mentor, Joe Pauzi from Australia, I wrote to him. He said, Well, Caltech is famous for physics and astronomy, and uh, Harvard for training students in ast astronomy. But if you desire to return to India, pay special attention to electronics. So I joined the Department of Electrical Engineering at Stanford. Sitting in the library of TFR, looking at the sun, Looking at the nice sea on the side, it occurred to me that lunar occultation observation can be, a, can be the, of a large number of radios, weak radio sources to measure their angular diameter, can distribute to a steady state in Big Bang Theory. So while sitting in the library of TFR, I can see the 530 meter long, 30 meter wide radio telescope to locate on a hill with a slope, same as the latitude of the station, so that it's parallel to axis of rotation of the Earth. And then they asked me to write a proposal. So, what's, how much moon moves over here, around the sun, uh, figured it all out. Wrote a proposal in a month, met Bhagavad Baba. He grilled me for a couple of hours. Okay, not only scientific objective, but structure and mechanical details. If it's slow, is it a hill is slow, what it fold down? <laughs> okay, after I satisfied, I told him, shall I write a project report? He said, this is what it comes up telling me. Young man, don't waste your time writing a project proposal. Your problem is even to form a group. Once you have done that, we will approve your project. So I conceived at Belam and sitting in the plane, two kilometer long, 50 meter wide, unit telescope air equator. Giant control radio telescope, GMRT came out of that. Radio astronomy group as well as people TFR opened it to the world like VLA. We were using VLA from while well, during that time. Then allowed anybody from across the world can submit a proposal. So we opened the GMRT to any scientists across the world. During the last uh, 30 years, uh, 35 countries have used GMRT. GMRT located in India, we could 
make this survey from minus 30 degrees to plus 90 degrees. It's all sky survey. So it will be in low latitude, or minus 40 degrees to plus 90 degrees, all sky survey. Using the survey which uh, published but not utilized, Saxena Indian student working in the Netherlands found the most distant radio galaxy in the universe at ratio 5.72. That's the largest discovery so far using geomatic observation. Five were integrated because Allahabad BSc MSc was taught by the same teachers. Now, 700 universities, BSc is separate place, MSc is separate place. You are part of it. The writer's teacher never taught BSc, which is a formative years. And my education, BSc was much better than MSc. All these people, basic fundamentals. Krishna taught me electricity in my grandpa, BSc first year. So I proposed a five year integrated program, Pune University or somewhere around. First year, biology that become very important and CBS was there. Mr. Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, also biology. First year. And so on. This is separate. Fourth year, you separate them to fifth year project at Pula and Calcutta, which were what we had proposed. So I served, now today I served. So that's my greatest success story. <laughs>